guys happy nigerian independence happy nigerian independence we are 56 today and guess what else we're doing today we're turning up at the burner boy event in apollo and you guys need to be there if you don't have your tickets you can still call up i mean i called event team today and they're still sending at the box office from four i believe and of course you've got people you can ask and you know call up the numbers are all there go on eventbrite you know shubs.com and get your ticket but right now we have a, a um industry legend let's say he doesn't like all these big ups you know he's very professional and he's come here to do a great job and i just want to invite dj abbas how are you doing, how you doing? it's great to have you here one-on-one -on -one, finally you have to book appointments I'm good to you. finally be on this <laughs> seat with you thank you thank nice you work. thank well you done. how have you been doing so far because you've been everywhere in london right now you've been here you've been there so much is going on it's a good time for african entertainment like i always say there's um i remember when we kicked off entertainment in the uk and events were few and far between and perhaps mono in terms of we were just doing one thing yeah but right now the, the terrain is so diverse you know more and more African talents, you know, are beginning to have something to latch on to through the events we do, through programs like this. Yes. So it's a good time to do what we do, especially on Nigerian Independence Day. Of course. And I can see you're all geared up. Nigerian, yes. Nigerian is, is the, the new, new cool. cool. And it is the new cool. As you said, we're evolving. Yes, fast. We are um, really I'd evolving. like to thank um, Caroline Akorita, quick okay. plug-in, for giving... You know, give cool, it, I, I love it. Nigeria is a new cool. Yes. You, look, you look cool. You got the hat. You, you got everything. You're, you're, you're even Thank white you and so black. Much. You're white and green. And you know? um, it's Nigerian independence. And perhaps it's not high octane this year because we're in a recession. It's just yes, a fact we are. It, you know? And not many hours. You need to recognize and acknowledge it all the time. We're Nigerians and we're celebrating independence. It's just like the, I liken it to having a child that is ill. Yeah. If your child is ill, and it's his birthday or her birthday. You still say you make a cake. Yeah. Maybe not a big cake. But you'll still. And you don't throw a party. But you still recognize it, you know. And that's why I say, and eventually the child will get better. Definitely. And then we we'll throw a big party. But it's a marathon. The life and the growth of a nation, development of a nation, is a marathon. And you take the highs with the lows, but at every point in time, recognize. And celebrate. And, and I have position. a question for you. Yes. How is it now that, because you have been here as lo alongside many others, yes. and you've actually watched the whole Nigerian industry and Nigeria itself, um, media industry yes. and Nigeria itself, you've watched it evolve, you've watched it become and something it's different, and it's still going. Yes. How has it been, to, how do you feel to be a part of that movement? I mean, it's amazing. It's happened right before our eyes. It's, it's, I'm extremely proud. I've got a 20, I tell this story everywhere I go, I've got a 21 year old son. And at a certain point in his life, when he was a lot younger, I used to worry that, God, how am I going to Nigerianize this boy? Yeah. The plan for most parents at the time was, you know, maybe get them to go to school in Nigeria, maybe do secondary school. That's what happened you know? to me. But <laughs> now, we have a generation of African children who have never been to Africa, but they are as African as can, as be. can be. It's cool to be Nigerian. It it's is. cool to be African via our music, via our um, um, sports, um, entertainment. Nollywood, movies, across the board. And they're making strides into the mainstream and still being extremely relevant within the community. So Definitely. it's a great time to be. And, um, you know, today you are here, yes. obviously, to promote 76, the premiere. The, the movie. The movie. The fantastic movie. And would you like to just talk to us a bit about that? Well, it's a film that's been in the making for a while. Okay. Directed by Izu. Izu Juku, fantastic director, yes. and starring some, you know, big African household names, Rita Dominic, yes. Chidi Mokeme, Ramzi Noah, we have a memory Savan, who's from Zimbabwe, wow. and Daniel K. Daniel. It just featured um, as one of the eight Nigerian films. Wow. In, at the Toronto Film Festival. Oh, wow. I was there for a week. I wish I could stay longer. <laughs> you know, for the first, I think that's the largest gathering of um, Nigerian filmmakers outside of Africa ever. Yeah. At one point, so we had eight films, we had all the celebrities we were meeting, we had all the behind the scenes men, the producers, the directors, and it was such a fantastic, you know, place to be selling and pushing African films. Yeah. And on top of that, 76, got, 76 the movie got a distribution deal. Wow. Which means in North America right now, that's in the States, Canada, yes, Mexico, and area, yeah. we have a distributor who's wow. going to market that film when it eventually comes out on general release. Why? So that was a success that came out of the Toronto Film Festival. Now we're bringing it to London. 
and during it's going to be crazy. During the BFI um, London Film Festival, yeah, um, which is between the 8th and the 18th, but 76 is going to be screening. We're having the UK premiere on the 15th, Saturday the 15th of October, yeah. at the Cine World in Haymarket. Oh, right. All the celebs will be we'll on be ground. There. All of them will be there. And if we replicate anything close to what happened at Toronto, it's just going to be out of this world. Tickets are almost gone. They are flying fast. But this is just to let more people know. Because part of what we're doing as well is trying to... I know a lot of Africans go to cinema. Yeah. But how many of them actually go out to watch Nigerian films at cinema? But then they can ask, how many do you bring to us? And we've been on this movement for about 10 years now. Yeah. But then this is one of the very best, you know, shot on film and great cast. And I'm just imploring. And we're going to watch the trailers hopefully soon at some point. Wow. And people get to see just a teaser of what 76 is all about. I don't know about you guys at home. I said, well, quite quickly. He has actually sold me. And guess what? The clip is ready. This is 76. You know why you're here, Captain? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You've been acting very strange lately. Well, you know, if everything is permanently under control, the men like myself will be jobless. Mm. <laughs> I love you, Joe. I love you. So, dear. Do <laughs> you know what was written in the note? No, ma. But I felt you uncovered a plot. Any problem, sir? Just make sure my wife gets that note immediately. Five VIPs have been slated for assassination. Including the head of state. Please. Please, no. This is Zero Alpha. A message from Captain Joseph Dewa, N of 125 of 702 BS. It's very, very urgent and confidential for the DMI only. There was a coup day in Nigeria, which is Black Africa's biggest and richest nation and the world's eighth largest oil producer. The coup now begins to look more and more like a straightforward military revolt. Why did you directly or indirectly it those involved in the coup? I've watched it, and I said, you crafted it together very well. I must say that. And I think people easily forget history. So what this film will do, among other things, it will make people remember that at this particular stage in our development, we had a situation like this. Oh, that was the like the, the teaser <laughs> of I'm telling you not, like we were just talking about it while watching the clip because it's amazing it's clear the video is amazing the way that it's shot everything about it is wow so that's like not, this is Nigeria nuts. now this is what we have become Nigerian Independence Day I'm so proud this is a movie and a half and more importantly what makes it poignant today is like it was such an important part of the of Nigerian history. Some don't even remember, especially yes. in this generation now. Seventy six is actually um, about details rev rev revolving around the major coup in 1976 that killed the Nigerian leader then, later um, General Muhammad. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. more than that, there is also a love story woven around it. So the lead actor there was a military officer okay. and it was alleged he was involved in the coup right. and that's the most I'm going to give away no problem yes. like literally I'm just like yes <laughs> wow oh I mean yeah. like it's just amazing to see the way everything has eloped and that's where we are with our films now it's that's the level that's the standard it's been improving and it's getting better and the better it gets the rest of the world want to be a part of it yes and that's yes. why we can go to festivals like Toronto and we can be at the British, and it's the only Nigerian film 
showing at this year's BFI wow. London Film Festival. That is big. You know, we're having two dates. The grand premiere is on October 15th, okay. but then there's another extra screening next day. October because 16th. the tickets are selling, they're Very going. Fast, you know, I'm telling myself for, and um, if you know how to get reach me, good. If not, go to djmedia.com. If you need to have any information, just send something through the contact um, list there, and we will get back to you. But tickets are flying. Wow. And is there anywhere else that people can actually get the tickets at the moment? If they said, I wanted one right now today, where can they go? DJmedia.com. DJmedia.com for all inquiries. All inquiries. And or tickets. call me. Oh, give, give, give <laughs> DJ a bus a call. Just casually, hey, call DJ, me. you know. <laughs> but wow, I am so proud. And you can tell a lot of work, effort, thought yes, like I has said, been put into Four years it. in the making. Films cost over $3 million to make. So they've done their part. Our part is now to get people out there to know more about it and come and watch. And that's like, like to thank the likes of Ben TV. We are family here, you know, the magazine yes, show. Yes, definitely. To help, you know, because it's been a part of this whole building process, you know. I know how many stars who have sat on this seat, who today are, who they are, yes. because of part of the help they've gotten from the likes of you guys on your stage. So thank you so much for that. And we are also very thankful for having all of you on here, inspiring us and touching the lives of the youth out there. Not only we the Nigerians, but we the youth. Africa. <laughs> He's still holding on to the Nigerians. Uh, you are as young as you feel. <laughs> it's true. You're as young as it you feel. It is so true. That is so true. And I hope I'll be saying that when I'm older as well. I believe you will. <laughs> Well, it was amazing having you on the show. Always Thank you pleasure. so much. And Always what are you doing tonight? Are you coming to Burning oh, Boy? All roads lead to event in Apollo for the Nigerian independence big party with Burner Boy. Did Oga Femi get that from you? Which all are roads which are lead. No, no, no. Every it, it time. Become... I talk about this every week. Oga Femi will be like, all roads lead let to... Me you, let me tell you why we use all roads lead. So that there is no ambiguity. Like there is no, yeah, like, no say, like, say no all roads lead to event team Apollo to support Bonaboy yes. on Nigerian Independence Day. I'm and it's going to be it. amazing. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see all of you guys there. Make sure you still get your tickets. Come on, guys. You don't want to miss it. Awesome. Thank you so much, DJ Abbas. Thank you so much. Thank and you, you guys, watch out for 76. It will be out real soon. Yes, yeah, so all roads leading to Sydney World Hill Market on the 15th. <laughs> there we go. Now we're going for a quick break, a music break, as we do. And we hope you enjoy this song. Don't touch that dial. I hope you know why you're here, Captain. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You've been acting very strange lately. Well, you know, if everything is permanently under control, the men like myself will be jobless. Mm. I love you, Joe. I love you. So, dear. Do you know what was written in the note? No, ma. But I felt you uncovered a plot. Any problem, sir? Just make sure my wife gets that note immediately. Five VIPs have been slated for assassination. Including the head of state. Please. Please, enough. This is Zero Alpha. A message from Captain Joseph Dewa, NOB 125 of 702 BS. It's very, very urgent and confidential for the DMI only. There was a coup today in Nigeria, which is Black Africa's biggest and richest nation and the world's eighth largest oil producer. Yes, sir. The coup now begins to look more and more like a straightforward military revolt. Why did you directly or indirectly aid those involved in the coup? I've watched it, and I said, you crafted it together very well. I must say that. And I think people easily forget history. So what this film will do, among other things, it will make people remember that at a particular stage in our development, we had a situation like this. <laughs> 